All right, hey, welcome back to uh, Mina's Friends. We're playing more Metroid Fusion. This game still badass. Still my favorite. Yeah, it's still it looks great. I like it. All right, so I've got a theory. What's that? Uh, I I mean, all right. First off, is that you start every conversation? I have a theory. Yes. I feel like you say that all the time. Like yeah. not even not even just when like just normally when we're talking, not even when we're recording. Yeah, I've got a lot on my fucking mind, Brian. And it's I a also... sign of a person who fucking thinks. Oh really? Yeah. Oh jeez. People who have theories and ideas, something you have yet to have. But one of these days, Brian. So All anyways, right. I've got a theory. You piece of shit, you fucking Momo. Momo? I don't even yeah. what the... Stop insulting me with things I don't know. <laughs> Alright? You can insult me. You should me fucking with... know that one. You're Italian. That's an Italian one? Yeah, dude, that's a fucking I think that's a spin on the mook. Mook? Mamook? What? Yeah. Oh, you're hitting me with a bunch of racial slurs I can't respond to. I don't it's, know. It's, it's it's stu it's Italian for stupid. It's Italian insults. You should fucking know oh. these. How have you abandoned your people? I know. I have to admit, I haven't been a very good Italian. <laughs> yeah, it's because you're fucking Momo. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, go on with your theory, Kyle. Yeah, I've got a theory that there's there's essentially no difference between, like, high-class things. Yeah. Especially when it comes to food. And white trash. Okay. Like, it's pretty much the exact same thing. Okay. Like, if you want something... And the only thing that's different is the way you phrase it, right? So, like, an example of, like, something that might be high-class would be, like, uh... Uh, is something I made recently, an ahi tuna that's been seared with uh, cilantro aioli on a homemade corn tortillas with pico de gallo. Right? Kyle, first off, I hate it when people talk about food, man. Not like not like that, but like when people go over the like it's a lemon crusted, you know. Bowl. That's that's some bougie fucking shit, right? That's I some hoity toity high I class. I hate that shit. Yeah, it's some bougie shit. I don't know. But why I'll it tell you what, me. it's the exact same fucking thing. If I were to say like, yeah, you know what? I had a tuna salad on a tortilla with hot sauce. It's yeah. the exact same fucking thing. It's just somebody bougied it up. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The way you the way you sell it means a lot. I mean, you could be like, all right, this is a this is a, a cheese encrusted, you know, salmon or some shit like that, right? But it could be like coated like in Doritos. I bet you put a cheese encrusted salmon and shows your white trashness, Brian. Yeah, dude, I, I don't know food, man. I'm not a yeah, food guy. Why would you put? Why would you encrust salmon with cheese? That sounds fucking disgusting. I don't know. Nothing about that sounds appealing. What the fuck is wrong with you? No, encrusting things in cheese is always good. No, not fucking fish. I've never. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't eat fish, man. Fish is a fucking scam. What? <laughs> yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Most most fish, like I feel like most fish that you get at the market isn't actually the fish that they uh, tell you it is. What do you mean it's not the f you you can tell you can look at the fucking fish and you know what it is. Do you, well, I'm telling you, there's a lot of fish that look the same. There's a lot of fish that know, look the same, but you know when you they, they fucking taste different. You know when you're eating some kind of tuna versus like a salmon or versus a tilapia. Yeah, but those are cod. big. Those are big differences. I'm talking about like, if, can you taste the difference between like an amberjack and uh you know some other really white fish? Like I'll a, be honest, I don't know what those two things are. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so like. You could you can understand like they're they're not t they're selling you one thing. It doesn't matter if, if if it's two things that taste similarly, it's the same. I just said there's no difference between tuna salad and like a a, 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 a tuna aioli. You know, it's, it's first off that's because that's because in your house it was the same because you couldn't afford the actual shit. So the actual shit of what? The actual tuna aioli or whatever the fuck it's called. Well, aioli's a sauce. Yeah, you couldn't afford that shit. Fucking uncultured piece of shit. I am uncultured. Savage. I'm terrible at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly, like, I'm really bad at when people are, like, talk about, like, wine or anything, like, high class. I'm just like, oh, I don't know. You don't even do. fucking try to, like, have nice things? No. Why would it? <laughs> Why not? It's because they're nice. People like nice things. Yeah, but that doesn't mean... Okay, here's the thing. Is I like some nice things. I like nice cars. I like nice, like, Really, Brian, tell me, like tell me about your, your time at Jason's Deli. <laughs> <laughs> the nicest yeah. meal you've ever had. All right. Tell now, me about it. I know it's on your mind. I ordered a beef eater. I don't know if you know what a beef eater is. It's like it's like forty five pounds. I can pounds. take a guess. It's like yeah, it, it really is exactly how it sounds. It's it's seriously. I think it's something like thirty six or forty something slices of beef on one on one fucking uh, piece of bread, and it's goddamn incredible. Lex Steel has the same claim, <laughs> dude. This okay, so. Having a Jason's Deli sandwich like that, like first off, every Jason's Deli sandwich has a ton of meat on it because they, I think that's how they make up for the fact that it tastes like shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's like, yeah, it's, it's like low quality price, but you get a lot of it. Yeah, oh, it's, no, I, it's, I, it's like the Walmart of sandwiches. Yeah, I know. I really don't. I, I'm not a huge fan of Jason's Deli to be honest. Okay, I get it because it's like I can have 45 slices of roast beef. For like six ninety nine, <laughs> that's why I get it. Dude, it's all, okay, go on. Sorry, this part's really cool. I always love this part. Such of this a game. Part. Yeah, I love hiding in the vents. 
But yeah, you made a good point earlier. Uh, yeah, that, that he's like walking away slowly, like Jason style from fucking. He Friday should be 13. on the other side of this fucking door. Yeah, he should where, be like, oh, I should be like, oh shit, and like run back. Oh up. god, like yeah. yeah why, why is the next I didn't mean to go all the way him. back. I'm sorry. No, I understand. Yeah, you, you lack the the mental capability as well as the finger dexterity to not fuck up. Yeah, you so. know, sometimes Kyle, you hit the nail on the head. You know, sometimes you're just so spot on. Thank you. I know. Yeah. I'm perfect. So, anyways, go back to telling me how about yeah. you not fuck up. Okay. Dude, I, I, I dropped a sandwich, man. I, I don't know if you've ever dropped a sandwich, Kyle, but it's a goddamn... It's a catastrophe. Why? Why is that? Because, dude, when you... Okay, let's say you drop something, you know, most food you drop it and you can salvage some of it or do something with it. This sandwich... It, like or any sandwich you're fucked there's nothing you could do with a with a sandwich after it's fallen on the floor it's fucked so you know once you uh, the other aspect of it is like when you drop a sandwich it's like you have a lot of shit that you have to get together like that you have to like pull together to make it back to the sandwich again and all of it's all of it's nasty so like i don't know <laughs> sorry I I'm, like, I like... I'm kind of distracted by this no game. i like i like your line of it's uh it's like trying to pick up a soggy deck of cards yeah that's, yeah this is it it's like it is it's like it's like 52 it's card like, pickup. It's not spirit, because you also brought up the point something that's equally catastrophe c catastrophic yeah catastrophic it would be soup right you think it'd be soup because you can't just, but you could just mop up soup like yeah you but, could charm in your way out of soup yeah but if, if a sandwich oh. falls apart then all of a sudden you have to pick up the individual piece and the way you're describing it is 40 pieces of a full deck's worth of, of, of meat have fallen yeah. onto the floor, and everybody's there to judge you. It's not like, oh, oh, sorry, let me just, and you throw towels on the ground, and then you walk out of the store. You're there for every single slice. Yep. Dude, no, it's, and it's awful, man. You look like a fucking convict on the side of a highway when you eat that <laughs> shit. <laughs> It's 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 the worst. I I've only had like I, I don't eat sandwiches very often. The entire for, time you should have been just like picking up the roast beef, boss. Yeah, like <laughs> picking it up. The ah, oh, dude's the worst. You're I, picking up a sandwich though. I think the worst part about picking up a sandwich though is the fact that you're you're not only gonna be there for a while, but it's like. You can tell just after you after you dropped it, you can tell immediately that it's like oh, I got a fucking project now. I think the problem is that it's also a thing that you're trying to like hold together. Yeah, it like it can easily fall apart on you. It's like when it, you drop your books in class, you know, you're just like oh, okay. then your papers go everywhere, and you're yeah. just trying to scoop them towards you. It's like it's how I imagine like if I was stabbed in the stomach, yeah, many your times, intestines and my in. intestines were falling out. Me trying to scoop in like just bags of meat, just yeah. ah, hold together, <laughs> hold together. It would still be less meat than a beefy. <laughs> <laughs> it would still be significantly less <laughs> dude oh, man. less delicious as well so. uh, i don't know man i've never had intestines i can't you know there's only so much you could say that's what that's a weird thing is that it's like you know you don't know until you try it right so yeah. it's like we might all love human meat we don't know like you don't know that you don't like human meat you just think it's gross now but say you didn't know it was human meat and you just had it on a plate, and it's like, oh, it's fucking delicious. I love that. Oh, I'd be willing to. Get... But the thing is, like, you would be I... willing to, like, yeah, if yeah. you knew. Or yeah, totally. You... But I would want to. I, I would be kind of like hoity-toity about. It. I get real yeah. hipster. I'd want to know that it was like, it wasn't. It wasn't raised in a cage. Like I'd want to know where <laughs> yeah, it came from. You, it because was just what I think. Like, <laughs> like cage-free animals taste better, in my opinion. At the yeah. very least, say what you will, but I think they taste better. No, I I and... agree with you. I love. I, I'm cage-free all the way, man. I hate that yeah. shit. They like cut off the beak of the chicken and then they also clip the wings and they put it in like a one by one thing. It's just a ball of meat at that point. It's not even an animal, so I don't like it. Well, I think it's kind of like, um, it's like a parabola, you know, like, or it's that like, there's an amount of suffering that's delicious, but then at one point... <laughs> <laughs> the suffering for us. Yeah, but you, you, like you can maximize it, but then yeah. like, I, 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 there's, a, there's a part where it goes too far and it Does goes it approach zero, or does it actually hit zero? Okay. It starts going into the negatives if it goes too far. Okay. Yeah, so, Yeah. see, I'm just trying to get the mathematics behind yeah, his suffering. It, it'll, yeah, so, so I, always, I want something to suffer a little bit, but preferably the person that made it for me. Like what a, goes a too far? Like a teenager and a... What goes too far? Yeah. In terms of uh, suffering food. Um, Would an e fucked video be too far? Yeah. Some like of those are too yeah, far. Yeah, they slut shamed my chicken before. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad. Like, oh, they gave it the anal full Nelson. Yeah, it's not just that they trapped it and caged it. But it's the thing is, I think most people, like, they, when you work in a cubicle 
and mm-hmm. you spend all day in your car trying to get to work. So it's like most people, they're they're in the cage. They wouldn't they wouldn't taste. Yeah. Food. I want a free roaming human. I want like an African. An like African. Free, like somebody who's never been in like a regular civilization. Yeah. Like they're they're. Oh shit. Or a um, Japanese. Fuck. I don't know. A mean. Japanese person maybe. Yeah. Why why a Japanese person? I I I feel like one of a high class, like one who's had an easy life and he doesn't have to work in an office. Oh, um, like one who lives like out. Yeah, like, but not they, like outdoors, they, but they you know. wouldn't be too fatty. I yeah, think, I think Japanese. I think in general they wouldn't be too fatty. Most of these people are skinny as shit. Yeah, I, I, I think I think that'd be good. I would say Chinese, but a lot of them work outdoors, and I, I don't. I think that'll make them stringy. Stringy, yeah, yeah. dude. They'll be all gamey. Yeah, I always... G- gamey is the best. Yeah, having a Chinese girlfriend, I can tell you they taste gamey. So... <laughs> okay, first off, Kyle, don't ex- don't explain. <laughs> I don't want to know all the details of that. Of what? That she tastes gamey. Okay, Kyle, now you're gonna have to explain this. I. <laughs> <laughs> I've already brought it. We already brought it up too much. Well, uh, I might explain it next time on Nina's Friends. <sighs>